Hello, good day, and welcome to our meditations from the book of Ecclesiastes. King Solomon, in his final years, looks back at life with a philosophical gaze. Let's hear what he has to say about his search for meaning in the ninth chapter and the first verse of the book of Ecclesiastes. So I reflected on all this and concluded that the righteous and the wise and what they do are in God's hands. But no one knows whether love or hate awaits them. I'm speaking on the subject, the future. There is something about a mystery story. It is filled with certainty and uncertainty, with the known and the unknown, the ordinary and the extraordinary, the predictable and the unpredictable. Solomon claims that this is the life of all those who are located under that ball of fire we call the sun. This he reveals is the commonality shared by all human beings. Wise, foolish, righteous, wicked, those who offer sacrifices and the non-religious, the good, the bad, the clean, the unclean, the law-abiding and the criminal. He concludes that we are all in God's hands. That's certainty. Whether we wish to acknowledge that fact and allow the fact that we are all in God's hands to train, constrain, or restrain our habits and behaviors or not. The uncertainty that comes with life is with what we think of our future or what the future holds for us. Will there be love? or hate, riches or poverty, strength or weakness. For some, life is a case of hit and miss. Others hold to the idea that only the strong will survive. Yet there are others who live their lives Que sera, sera, what will be, will be. However, maybe, just maybe, the mystery of life is about how we integrate the certainty with the uncertainty. Or to put it another way, if we are all in God's hands, that recognition leads us to commit the uncertainty of our lives, the future, to faith in the certainty that God is in control. In other words, what I'm saying is we could live our life based on the notion that if there is a design, there is a designer. If there is a destiny, there is a determinator. After all is said and done, there is only one thing left to say. Have reverence for God and obey his commands because this is all that we were created for. Let us pray. O oh God, in all that we do, may you be praised. Fill our lives with meaning. Fill our thoughts with compassion. Fill our words with tenderness, fill our relationships with laughter, and fill our actions with love. Amen. If this meditation has been a blessing to you, we ask that you subscribe to our YouTube channel. Pass our link on to your friends, families, and contacts. And give us a comment or a thumbs up. God bless you and have a great day.